Hi everyone and welcome to today's Qigong practice. In this video I'm going to show you a seated version of Qigong's 8 pieces of brocade sequence. This version is great if you want to practice Qigong in a chair or in your bed and still enjoy the benefits of Qigong. The exercises are easy to learn and do and suitable for all levels. Go ahead and get ready and let's begin. Begin in a comfortable seated position on the edge of your seat. Relax your shoulders. Keep your back nice and straight, but not rigid. Tuck your chin slightly and lengthen your spine upward. Keep your feet firm on the ground. Begin with a breathing exercise to open and stretch the chest. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Repeat this three times. The first movement of the sequence is called lifting the sky with both hands. Interlock your fingers, take a nice deep inhale up, then exhale out, releasing the hands down. Breathe in as you go up, pause and hold your breath. Exhale out through the mouth. Repeat this three times. This exercise helps to balance the internal organs and promotes a healthy blood flow up and down the spine. The next movement is called drawing the ball. Open your chest and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Release and cross both hands in front of the chest. Inhale and open the hands, stretch out, exhale out, inhale again and open the chest wide, exhale, release and come back to center. Repeat the same on the other side. Inhale when you open and stretch the body, exhale when you release and soften. This exercise is good for opening the chest and stretching the arms and back muscles. It also helps to open and balance the heart, lift the mood so we can feel good. Repeat the movement three times on each side. When you're finished, relax the hands down. The next movement is called connecting heaven and earth. Take a big inhale and separate the hands. The right hand presses down towards the ground. The left hand presses up towards the sky. Release with exhalation and change hands. Do this three times on each side. Inhale as you lift and open the body. Exhale, relax the neck and shoulders and soften the body. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, relax and soften. This exercise is good for opening the sides of the body as well as promotes a healthy digestion. When you're finished, relax the hands down. The next movement is called turn the neck and look behind. Take a nice deep inhale and open the hands to the side, so your big thumb pointing back. Release with exhalation, come back to center. Repeat the same on the other side. Inhale as you open and expand the body. Exhale as you release and soften. 
Do this three times on each side. This movement helps to exercise the neck and shoulders, open the chest and release the tension. When you're finished, relax the hands down. The next movement is called swing the tail and shake the head. Step your feet apart, inhale and rest your hands on your thighs. Begin rotating your torso clockwise. When you get to the other side, look up and lengthen your spine. Exhale as you relax and roll over. Do this three times on each side. This exercise invigorates the torso with energy, promotes healthy blood flow up and down the back and make it more supple. The next movement is good for the lower back and the kidney health. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, exhale out and place both hands on your lower back. Inhale again and arch your back slightly. Exhale and slide your hands down on the side of the legs. Touch your toes and then slowly come up sliding on the inner side. Finishing at the abdomen. Repeat this three times. This exercise stretches and tones the entire spinal column and brings more energy into the body. Finish the exercise by resting your hands on your thighs. The next movement is called punch and release the anger. Inhale and hold your fists beside your ribcage. Extend one arm forward. Twist the fist, your thumb is pointing down. Then open and spiral the fingers. Slowly bring the hand back. Do the same with your other hand. Exhale as you punch. Inhale as you draw the hand back. Do this three times on each side. This exercise helps to release the emotional tension as well as stretch and strengthen the arms. The next movement is called lifting up the heels. In a seated version, we are going to lift the heels and the shoulders at the same time. Take a big inhale and lift your shoulders up. Drop the shoulders down and relax the body. Do this three times. Inhale, go up. Exhale down and relax. This helps to shake off the old energy and release the tension from the upper body. To finish the sequence, take a big inhale through your nose and long easy exhale in the center, releasing and relaxing. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. I often like to finish the practice with Qigong tapping technique. It's great for energizing the body, enhance the blood circulation and leaves you feeling more connected with your body. Begin tapping under the collarbone and then go ahead and tap the whole arm.
palm to the chest and knock on the chest. Then do the same on the other side, also three times. Come back to the chest and gently knock on your sternum. Then go down and tap on the ribcage. Raise your left arm up and tap the side of the body, also three times. Do the same on the other side. Then come up to your lower back. Then with the back of your hands, do circle movements for a few seconds. Then gently tap up and down the kidney area. Then tap the glutes. And go down, tap on the sides. Spend a little longer at your knees, tap in the area just below the kneecap. Then go all the way down and tap your feet. Then come up on the inside of the leg. Stop just below the kneecap for a few seconds, finishing at the hips. Do this three times. When you're finished, take a nice big inhale through the nose and then exhale out in the center. Stay here for a few seconds and notice how your body feels. Thanks for watching, I hope you feel good and I'll see you next time.